dinheiro para ti hoje. So how long have they been here in this area? 17 years. 17 years. L'actrice Angelina Jolie est de retour dans les zones rurales équatoriennes ce week-end. Elle a visité les 24 familles de réfugiés afro-colombiens vivant dans le village de Providencia. Ces réfugiés ont fui leur pays il y a près de 20 ans. Le HCR a apporté son aide pour la construction d'une école primaire dans cette communauté isolée. Mais pour eux et les autres réfugiés, les besoins sont immenses. I come here and I and I and I see how some people are treated or I see I hear of some of the restrictions and I and my heart breaks and I think I wish I could I wish I could express to all of the people of Ecuador how much it means to the people who are here and please to be tolerant and understanding that these are people who have suffered so much violence and who are uh, nobody wants to become a refugee nobody wants to be away from their home and nobody wants to be living on borrowed land and having to beg for a visa every year and not be able to to know where their, you know, what their life is going to be, what their children's life is going to be, if they're going to be able to access any jobs, any medical, any, their lives are, are so unstable. And, um, and they're only suffering through this because they have to. So the more that people could be tolerant and open and kind, um, the, the, you know, the, the better the situation will be because it, it is simply that it's a humanitarian situation. It's not, uh, uh, you know, these people are here simply to survive. L'Équateur accueille plus de 55 000 réfugiés et 21 000 demandeurs d'asile. Ce pays reçoit chaque mois plus de 1 000 nouvelles demandes d'asile des personnes qui fuient la violence en Colombie. Dans le hameau de Barranca Bermeja, l'envoyé spécial du HCR s'est rendu dans un centre pour les femmes qu'elle aide à financer. C'est la troisième visite d'Angelina Jolie dans la région, mais sa première dans son nouveau rôle d'envoyé spécial du Haut-Commissaire pour les réfugiés, Antonio Guterres.